I am here with Andrew. Again. Again. Well, <laughs> if you saw. <laughs> not really again. Well, kind <laughs> again, of. Again for them. Again, yeah. If you saw yesterday's video, we went through two boxes of stuff from that booth clean out. And now we are deciding what to keep and what to give back to Eric. So we are building a box. This is the we don't want box. I know it's gonna make a lot of you cringe because you were like, I wanted that. This is the stuff going back to Eric. Um, but fortunately, it's still in the building, so. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Wedgwood. Yeah, unfortunately, with the damage. Um, and I just, I don't know if I'm feeling this bear. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't like the lid on it. This is, this is probably a fire hazard. It's a huge fire hazard, and I will <laughs> allow him to know that. And I will tell him that that is a huge fire hazard. Please do not plug that in. You will kill yourself. Look, she's waving goodbye. Bye. Oh, See you later. Help me. Help me. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, we've been quarantined for too long. Um, okay, so I think the rest of the stuff, um, even this guy without his little salt and pepper shakers he's still really fun so i think he needs to stay I, I was kind of on the fence about him but he needs to stay these pieces again um the ivy stuff i mean it's kind of like a nice I set like of those. three yeah there's three of them so definitely gonna keep those swan is good toucan is awesome yeah he is the piece Yadra, i don't know about the wedge with lighter mm. I, you know, the lighter is in really good condition. Mm -hmm. It's not pitted. Does it work? How do you get it to work? I oh, don't even know are, how to use it. These are easy. It's a tabletop. You just press that. Oh. And you have to add stuff to it to make it work, though? Yeah, it would need fluid. Mm. You add fluid and a, probably a new flint, but it's a uh, bell flame. It's not a bad little lighter. The mechanism still works, so I'm sure if you put a flint in and some fluid, you could actually have that on your desk interesting okay then um so yeah that's cool because it's got the roman salt like the roman i know it's so wedgwood i'm just I like, like i'm not a fan of wedgwood i don't know why i like it oh well the jasper wear i just I like don't it. think i'm a jasper wear person i like it i know it's some people's taste it's i like it I'm more of the, like oh it. my gosh, that looks like the I surface like of the sun. <laughs> I was thinking like a phoenix bowl, but okay. Yeah. And I don't even smoke, so. I like it. It's fantastic, isn't I it? I like those. I like the color on those. Yeah, the Delta blue. I love that. Yeah. So um, I think this is the stuff that I would be interested in keeping. Okay. Okay. So okay, so I'll pack it in that box. Okie dokie. <laughs> and then we'll get some more. 1939 New York World's Fair. Oh, that's pretty cool. The souvenir cane. Heck yeah. It's in really good shape. Even the uh, even the tips in decent shape. Well, it's you starting can to get a little. Those. Yeah, but this is an original from 1939. Very you know, cool. That's cool. All right, so now we're going to go through two more of our boxes from the antique booth clean out. Um, I've got them right here. I don't actually know what's inside of them. I just said, hey, Andrew, go grab two of those boxes and bring them over here. So it's completely a mystery to me what is inside these boxes. I've never seen this stuff before, so it could be exciting. We're gonna start with Raggedy Andy, I think. I think this is Raggedy Andy. Uh, this looks like a more modern Raggedy Andy. Doesn't look like he's got a whole lot of age. I'm checking out his butt because when I was a little girl, uh, I had somebody make me a Raggedy Ann and it actually had initials on its butt, um, but this one does not. So there was really no reason to check out his butt. Uh, <laughs> we've got a Majolica plate here. This is like a, it just, it's an asparagus plate, but this is Majolica and it's got obviously the asparagus on it. There are no markings on the back and the back doesn't really look to have a whole lot of age. It's probably vintage, but I wouldn't say that it's antique. Uh, but they've got 10 bucks on this. I think I could probably make like 20 on this. If it was a little bit older, I could probably make a little bit more on it. This is 
like a stangle. Oh my gosh, no, it's not stangle. This is Blue Ridge uh, Southern Potteries. The stuff that Stu is always going crazy for. So this is one of those. <laughs> They've got $15 on it. Um, I typically don't buy this stuff. Sue usually buys it, but uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. I'll have to look that up and see how that does because I usually don't bite. What do we have here? Ah, okay, so this is kind of neat. This is a cigar purse, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's even got a little mirror in there. So this is just a cigar label or a cigar purse that somebody made. It's got a beaded handle. Romeo and Juliet, but it's Romeo e Julieta. Juliet would like this because it's kind of almost got her name on it, but I think it would be kind of weird giving a cigar box purse to a child that is six years old. So maybe not. I probably will sell that. Did you ding me? No. What is this? It's marked HMC. There is, oh wait, there's a mark there. What does it say? Sheffield Design. That's all it says. So I don't know if this is just like a little serving platter, but it's silver plate. I don't really mess with silver plate unless it's like really fantastic. We've got a little basket. Christmas Spirit, Ivory Bone China Mikasa, Japan. This is not something I would usually get excited about. <laughs> it is Mikasa, but it's just, it's not really worth a whole lot. And uh, yeah, so this will probably go in the back to Eric box. Let's see what else we've got in here some fun purses um they're not very vintage i mean they're i guess they're vintage but they're meant to look older they're meant to look like embroidered vintage purses and i don't know handmade in china these remind me of prom well this one does anyway of <laughs> prom just uh, i don't know i don't know why they get me Somebody's washing their hands. So I'm not gonna take those. Let's see. Coffee grinder. This looks like a vintage coffee grinder. Blue and white coffee in there. It's kind of neat. That just happened. What you got? Well, <laughs> I just went to go pull out the little drawer. Is it full of coffee? No, watch. Never mind. Are you trying to get the handle to come off again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I went to go open it and the little handle like completely popped off in my finger. Too far so I went to go show you and the old drawer comes out. I can't. You fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Fixed it. It's all fixed now. You fixed it. Um, but it probably does need to re be replaced because it's all like oxidized. And stuff. I don't. I don't know what these go for. I don't. I think they're pretty. Pretty common. Pretty common. Yeah, that's yeah, that was it's my not thing. something that's mind blowing. That's what I was thinking. I mean, it is cool that it's got this like blue and white up yeah. here, but we had one in the house when I was growing up. I used to actually use it. Oh yeah. A little Ooh. coffee grinder. Looks like Fitz and Floyd. Ah, oh, it is Fitz and Floyd. Look at that. That's cute. With that the is cute. That is so spring. I like that a lot. And look, it's a creamer and sugar. The lid right here. There's a spoon. Oh, look, a little spoon to go with it as I bang them together. Fitz and Floyd um, is actually pretty, pretty easily chipped, so you have to be careful as I bang it together, you know. That is adorable. That is so perfect for spring. Look at all the flowers, and there's bumblebees. I actually don't see any damage on it even though it was banging around in that box. I like that a lot. Um, for that, I, they've got 10 on that. I would expect to get 20 to 25 for that. 
And some of the Fitz and Floyd stuff like can fetch really good money. I know. So and, if and, that's one of those pieces. Yeah, I just I just like that it's flowers and, and the bumblebees and the It's perfect for spring, right? Yeah. Um, what else do you have? That looks like more wedgewood. Yeah. So here is a set of wedgewood ashtrays. A whole set of them. So I guess this is called Queensware. Um, yeah, wedgewood Queensware. But there are two circular ones and a little square one. All right, what else do we have? Mm, this probably had water in it. Yeah, probably. Oh no, the little flamingos are drowning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are cool. Back to Eric. Those look like, uh, oh yeah, those look like uh, Shawnee. Uh, mm, I think they're American bisque. He's got a butt. Yeah, no, don't they have the cutest little bums? Look at him. <laughs> I'm gonna get demonetized for that. <laughs> I think these are American bisque. Um, because of the paint on them. Now the paint does have a tendency to scratch off and wear, um, but yeah, they're actually, the, the paint is in pretty good condition. My foot is cramping right now. <laughs> That's, why I'm, like, That's why I'm like sitting on my side. Squirming around like real weird. I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought it would go away and it's not. I am sitting on the floor for too long. Oh my goodness. So those are kind of neat. They've got 20 on those. Um, those will probably sell for 12 to 15. That is salt pen. What is in that? That looks it's like got an older mark on it. Somebody used that for a planter. Probably. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so this is a what is some Krag Carlsbad, yeah, Czechoslovakia. This is like a little salt box, but unfortunately it looks like somebody used it as a planter. So <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of staining in there. I mean, I guess you could use it as a planter again. Kind of like a wall pocket. They used it as a wall pocket. Yeah, it's, it's got that it's wall got, yeah. hanger. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's built in. Yeah. And this there's actually still dirt in there. It's not very exciting what's left in here, though. It's like, unfortunately, Santa's broken. Mm. He's missing a piece of the blue. Yeah. <clears throat> broken Santa. These aren't very... Yeah. Tea bag holders, candles, no, tomato I'll, I'll give you guys a peek. Yeah, I mean, it's not very, very exciting. I kind of want to look this one up, though. McCrory's. I wonder if that was a restaurant. McCrory's. That's an older piece, too. These big ones. Those look like Bakelite. Yeah, they're marked Bakelite. Alright, well, on to the next thing. Flatware and trinkets. Apollo Tons. Silver Company. They look like chicken feet. Head. Well, here, I'll tell you what, I'll give right, you the next right, box. Right, right. Okay. While I continue to root through flatware. Okay. Let's see if there's oh any gosh. interesting pieces of flatware. Oh, there's some good stuff in there. What is that? Seven card stud this for dummies. It's going to keep us busy for the next 17 days that we need to keep busy because we can't go anywhere and do anything. This is kind of cool. What is this? Picnic. Oh, it's a stamp. What is it? I don't know. It's a stamp. A picnic stamp. Picnic. I don't know. Is that for crafting? <coughs> oh, is that a printer's block? That's what I'm wondering. <coughs> or is it a stamp for, like, crafting? Toad. Crescent. Here's the name right here. It's, it's got a name on it. Crescent. And then there's actually... A person's oh. name there. So is it a printer's block or I is it for crafting? I believe this is... 
This is this is a printer's block. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is a printer's block. A picnic one. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, should we sell it? Yeah. Schreider picnic print block. Oh yeah, that's why I got it marked up. There you have it. All right, so I'm gonna set this back in here because I don't want that. Oh, we've got auxiliary lens. I guess this is for, oh, this is a camera lens. What? I wonder if this would work on my camera. What? Do you think this would work on my camera? What is it? It's a lens. What kind of lens is it? It's a multi-coated no, it auxiliary lens. No, it will not. It won't attach to your camera. It's got you can't yeah, unfortunately. Well then. I wonder if we could sell it though. I'm sure it would fit on somebody's camera. We can look it up, but a lot of those um are obsolete. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. For Canon Super Sure Shot. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to look that up before we decide to take it or not. And this then we've got cool. this. I'm gonna put this one on eBay. This one's for Carlisle High. Oh, that's it's cool. Local from yeah, there from Carlisle the high school. High school. Um, we've got this. This is a camera. This actually looks pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of that, like, Kodak. What is that? Well, what is the camera that takes the instant sure pictures? Though. That's a Polaroid. But what is this? This is a Kodak Star 110 camera outfit. Oh, 110 is like, it was, it's a self-contained roll of film. Yeah. And it like plugs into the back. This is weird though. And it's the whole thing. Look at those batteries. Yeah. The batteries are all like gross. Yeah. Uh, you know, oddly enough though, you it, it would surprise you that some of the more modern Kodak and like the Polaroid stuff yeah. sells. People yeah. want Yeah, well this is new in box. And if you can get original Polaroid film. Yeah, well it's in there. It comes with the film. Yeah, I know. But it's just a shame that the batteries like yeah. uh, totally exploded yeah but you can save 55 cents on one roll of film if you purchase this so there you go <laughs> ah, that's worth looking at all right so now let's get into the vintage goodness what is that oh my gosh this is donald duck's butt <laughs> <coughs> Is there a top? No! Probably in a box somewhere. It's just his butt. Oh, wait, it's, a, it's a butt cup. <laughs> it is. It says Donald Duck in there. Donald Duck butt cup. Authentic, original, Disney, Donald Duck butt mug. And no matter which, <laughs> and no matter if you drink from the front or the back, it's, it's weird it's either weird. way. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna visualize it for you. No, I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. 